Okay, so what we have here, we have our T account. So this is uh, in effect our ledger. So up until this point, we would have analyzed transactions, journalized them in the general journal, and posted them into the ledger. So these T accounts are um, subbing in for our general ledger. Again, a T account, you can tell it looks like a T. You get your debits on the left, credits on the right. Debits on the left, credits on the right. And then again, each debit side will offset the credit side. Sorry, it doesn't work the way I wanted to there. And then we get a balance. So all the unadjusted trial balance is doing is we're gonna sum up all the debits of all of our accounts in our ledger and enter all the credits and make sure those two equal. That's the only reason we prepare a trial balance is to make sure our debits equal our credits before we go further in the accounting cycle process. So this is pretty straightforward. Again, all the hard work has been done for us, so we're just really copying. So we have an account called cash, so we're gonna type that in. And cash has a $72,000 debit balance, so we will enter 72,000. Accounts receivable has a $10,000 balance, so we're just gonna copy accounts receivable, and we have to enter it exactly the way that they have it, $10,000 balance. Um, office supplies has a debit of 1775. Prepaid insurance has another debit $4,000. And then we have gym equipment with a $17,000 debit balance. Accounts payable has a credit of 10,000. Common stock is our next account in our ledger and it has a $55,750 credit balance. Again, I'm just copying. They've already done all the hard work. Membership revenue as a $106,000, $825 balance. Rent expense, $12,500. Wages expense is $23,000. We've got janitorial expense here. which is 10,900. Utilities expense is 10,006, I'm sorry, 10,300. Insurance expense, Ooh. is 6,400 debit. And lastly, we have depreciation expense, which is also a debit balance of 4,700. So all we have to do now is add up all of our debits and we'll get a number and we'll total that in and add up all the credits. So give me a second. Okay, so I got up my calculator and I added those two columns and uh, fortunately, it looks like they do balance. So that's what we're looking for. We wanna make sure all of our debits added together equal all of the credits added together. Now I just have a couple of comments about that. So there are some limitations to the trial balance. Just because my debits equal my credits does not mean that I did everything properly. Um, a transaction could have been skipped or omitted and not even journalized. Uh, the correct journal entry maybe wasn't posted or it was posted twice. So the debits would still equal uh, even though I posted that account twice, or maybe I put them in the wrong accounts. Maybe I debited cash and I should have debited accounts receivable, something like that. So just be aware that that does happen. And if your debits don't equal your credits, I'll give you some advice here too. Go ahead and double check your addition when you're adding these two columns and make sure that you correctly entered them. Go back up and double check and make sure the amounts that you posted in that the debit for 72,000 went in as a debit for 72,000. So just check all of those. You can see if you accidentally put something as a credit when it should have been a debit. 
You may have to go back up to the ledger and recompute all of these balances to make sure that they were calculated correctly. If that doesn't work, you may have to go back into the ledger and make sure all of the transactions were correctly posted from the ledger, from the journal into the ledger, and, and or go even further back and make sure that the transaction was recorded properly. And make sure every transaction had equal debits and credits. So it does get a little bit timely if you do find an error, but it's better to correct it now than if you get further down the road and maybe have prepared your financial statements.